Everybody ready? Fire away. Jemaya, can you kind of talk about uh, the trip to Europe and maybe how that helped bond in your team? Oh, yeah, the trip to Europe, I loved it. It was fun. The only thing that was bad about it was uh, the long plane ride. I, <laughs> that was different. But um, the experience there was fun. Um, we got to have a lot of fun, a lot of bonding. We got to, uh, we spent mostly all the time together. You know, we, we walked around, we explored, we did all type of stuff. And most importantly, we, uh, we won too. So we, we learned a lot about each other off the court and on the court during that trip. We're so happy. do you think you're farther ahead this year than you were last year when you still had a lot of newcomers last year? Um, yeah, I think we do know each other a little more than we were last year. We're a little more advanced just because we got those. We got that um, time to spend with each other off the court, and we got time to practice and play on the court. So I think we are a little more ahead than last year. What type of team do you think that you're going to have this year, and what is the like, the, how competitive are the guys? Um, I think this year's team is going to be scrappy. I think we're going to be fast. We got a lot of fast, quick guys. I think we're going to get after a defense. Um, as usual, we got a lot of guys that can shoot the ball. Um, I think we're going to be able to score the ball really well this year, and I think we should be able to defend really well. So I'm looking forward to see how uh, Coach puts up the schemes offensively and defensively. How do you think Adams fit into this backcourt dynamic? Um, Ace has been good just because he's experienced. He's won before, so you know he can shoot, he can defend. He He's a willing passer like me and Frankie, so I think all three of us um, fit well together because we all, we're all we all unselfish you know, and we all want what's best for each other. From a leadership standpoint, too, I mean, with you back, obviously, Frankie, um, Gaffney back, too, as well. Like, with these new guys, how, how big have you guys been in just kind of explaining, like, or furthering what Coach really wants and expects from him? Oh, just uh, us three trying to be an extension of Coach and just trying to keep what we built last year, um, just that culture, uh, and, and give it to these guys and teach them and tell them how it's supposed to look because we know how it's supposed to look and we know what he wants. So, you know, us just trying to lead and – you know, be positive, and it's going to be tough days, but just trying to be there for our teammates. And when he gets on them, we have to be there for him and, you know, try to guide him through that. But I think we definitely, all three of us, stepped up in a, um, in a leadership role this year. Jemaya, you know, players have other options these days and everything. Just what uh, brought you back to ASU and, and like, uh, Coach Hurley's program? Um, like I said before, you know, some guys take the opportunity and try to go get the chase the bag, like I said before, but I felt like, uh, staying here was the best was the best for me and my future uh, and at the end of the day I got to look out what's best for me and staying at ASU was in my best interest you know for my future and, and my development as a player. And what, what area were you really trying to develop the most this offseason? Um, just trying to be more consistent all around you know being more consistent um, last two years my, my shooting numbers haven't been as consistent as I've been wanting them so just trying to be a consistent shooter trying to be a consistent teammate consistent player um, consistent defender, just consistency, really just working on um, my whole game. Coach right. says that he's still trying to find the identity of this team, but what kind of identity do you think this team can have based on what you've seen and being around this group? Um, like I said, I think we have a, lo a lot of guys that can get up and down the court. I would like, um, you know, for our identity, you know, to try to get up and down, get a lot of stops and get out of transition, kind of like last year, you know, just get out and have fun. What's Sean Phillips brought? Um, Sean's probably the most athletic big we've had since I got here. He's he's tall. He he jumps off. He gets off the ground really fast. Like I, when he first got here, I'm like, wow, he's really ath athletic. Like he doesn't need to bend or anything. He just catches and goes straight up. And you know he's young. And uh, what I like about this team is we have a lot of guys that have a lot to prove. A lot uh, that want to show the world what they can do. You know, even me. You know, I, my my stats weren't that good last year, but we all taking a bigger role this year, and I think that's what's going to help us. What was your favorite part of the trip? Oh, um, my favorite part of the trip, um, I don't know, probably when we went to the beach in Mykonos, it was fun. We was there for, we was there for a while, and, you know, we was having a lot of fun and eating a lot of food and taking pictures and stuff, and uh, we got to get on the, um, they had a lot of stuff to do where you could get on the jet skis and, and, and ride the little, I don't know, where you, you sit down on, the, like, a little thing, and I was on it with Coach, so it was funny. He was, <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting next to Coach, and he was screaming and stuff, so that was fun. Like a banana boat, is it a raft? Jet ski. It was like a, I don't know, we was like sitting down and we had to hold the things and they was like, yeah, we was on the boat. We was, yeah, the raft, like we was about to fall off and coach was on the edge, so his legs were swinging off and stuff. It was crazy, but it was fun though. Um, you mentioned fun moments like that. Do you feel like even with all the pressure that you have on you to do well, is it still fun for you? Yeah, it's always fun. Just playing a game you love is always going to be fun. You know, enjoying the process is fun. You know, I think we all 
get along with each other off the court, so it's easy to have fun. I'm always going to have fun playing basketball, but when you're doing it with people you like, it's even better. Uh, what kind of leader would you say you are? Um, the kind of leader I am, I'm, you know, I just say what's necessary. I'm not one of those guys who's just going to nitpick or keep bothering somebody because I do like to have fun and um, joke around and stuff, but it's a time and a place for everything. So I feel like when it's time to say something, I say what needs to be said, and I'm the type of leader where I just I just like to build people up. I don't want to break anybody down. Um, you know, if it's something to be said like that, I'm going to let Coach do it, but I'm going to try to be positive, m positive as possible, you know, to build my teammates up and make sure that, you know, when it's time to go out there, you know, it's, it's us against everybody. It's, it's us against the opponents. We can't have any cracks, but then I want us to be as tight as we possibly could be because that's going to help us when the season comes. And I know you said given the messages of, like, getting coaches mess with the other players last year, I mean, if you guys were struggling offensively, like you said, the defense was a calling card. How big, even on that trip, were you working with guys on, you know, like you said, if their shot's not going, but just getting back on defense and putting that effort in down on that end of the floor? Um, this whole offseason, we've been preaching, like, that's our identity. We, we've been showing slides and numbers. And uh, the last two years that we've been here, we've been holding people to about 40% from the field. So I think that we've been preaching that to the guys, like, here we play defense. That's our calling card. You know, even if we're not putting it in the hole, we're not scoring. We're, we're going to get stops. And stops is going to lead the offense. So we had, I think, our second game um, overseas, we had a lot of steals. We started, we set the tone off, and we got a lot of steals. We got out in transition. So I think the guys are understanding you now that defense is what we pride here. Hey, Jeremiah, over Thanks. here. Thanks. Uh, what's it called? You guys play a pretty tough uh, non-conference schedule. How does that help you prepare for such a tough and deep Pac-12 conference that most teams will be ranked in? Oh, yeah, I think, I think it prepares us a lot, you know, not having a cake schedule, you know, just, just seeing what we're made of early. You know, we're going we gonna to test and see what, what we have early. We might fall down, you never know. But, you know, I think the tough schedule will prepare us for the tough games because, like you said, every, every game in the Pac-12 might be a battle. So why not battle early, you know, and see, and see what we got. And uh, I like our schedule. I think, I think we can compete. It's not going to be easy, but who wants it to be easy? Coach Hurley said you're a really confident player. Um, where does that confidence come from? And when things aren't going your way, what do you kind of do to kind of go back and tap into who you are? Um, I think I'm, I'm very confident because I, I work on my game, and I feel like uh, when you work and you do something to a certain extent, you, you just you just you have a certain belief in yourself that you can do it. You know, no matter how much I miss or how how bad I'm playing, I, I always have confidence in myself, and I think that comes from my my family. We just we just a confident group of people, and I think my mom and my aunts and my dad they all instilled that in me, and now I'm a confident player. So how I much always believe in myself? How much does that tournament experience help? for like, guys like you and Frankie and Alonzo going into this year? Um, experience is a big part because we've been in tough Pac-12 games, been in tough regular games. We've been Now we've been in the tournament. So, you know, we have a lot of experience and we've been in a lot of situations where we could tell those guys, all right, this is how we're going to do. This is how it's going to be. So, you know, the experience is good because now I think we'll be calm and cool and collective when it comes to a close game or, or, or you know, a last second shot or anything. We'll be ready for it because we've been through it. Coach had mentioned before the season, before the Pac-12 season even begins, you're starting off with a lot of these big non-conference matchups, going to Vegas, going to Texas. What's your take on that uh, open to the season, Northwestern, TCU, a lot of teams you've seen before in big scenarios? Um, like I said, I think it's going to be fun. I think I think it's going to be some, some some good games. We get some really good opponents, and we get to and we get to see what we made of and see what the work see see if the work shows. You know, um, if if, I, if we are as good as we think we are, and I'm good as. I think I am, then I have to do it against the best player. So I think this is a this is a good way for me to see where I'm at and for us as a team to see where we're at before we start the Pac-12 play.